kwa familia na watu wa Nyamira Mungu ambariki uh, Profesa Anyang Nyongo from the city of London Kisumu County Thank you very much my brother James Ngwai Mama Naomi and the family Right Honorable Prime Minister and all leaders gathered here today I will be very brief I'm going to say two things One is about our brother Nyangarama Sometimes in 2018 when we had just come from Kakamega, the Evolution Conference, we were in Acacia Hotel with James Ongwai and uh, Nyangarama. Ongwai came to me and told me that Governor Nyangarama wanted to talk to me uh, in his room. So we went along to his room and uh, we had a candid discussion with the governor. The governor said he wanted to consult me because he, like me, was suffering from prostate cancer. And since in 2010 I'd gone through the same thing, he wanted me to give him some advice what to do. And I assured him, governor, prostate cancer is not a death sentence. Uh, something we must share, I will call my doctor in California introduce you to him, we can talk to him on the phone, and you will go there, and you will be treated. Because there's something about Kenyans which is awful, I must say. Kenyans like to gossip about people's sickness. It's a very bad manners. <laughs> sickness is natural, diseases can be cured, and you can get well and live like anybody else. Governor Nyangarama went to this Helen Diller Comprehensive Cancer Care Center, University of California, San Francisco, where I was treated. And he was treated by my doctor, Professor Mark Roche, a black American, who is the only authority in the world best known for treating prostate cancer. And when you are treated in that hospital, the last day you ring a bell which is a signal that you are okay. And Professor Roach will tell you, you go out, know you are treated. If you have any problem, come back and see me. Ngamana Nyangarama used to go back like I did. And I know that John Obiero Nyangarama was a very healthy man. Very frequently taking his medical examinations, to make sure that nothing goes wrong and nothing went wrong. Professor Roach also told us that after I have dealt with you, you will die of any other disease but not prostate cancer. And therefore, when I heard that the governor had passed on, I was very pained because we share something in common. Maybe the season of God to harvest but I'm asking God, please go slow. It is becoming too much. This coronavirus thing is becoming too much. And let me say one last thing. When I was a kid in a Christian family, we used to be told that Jesus died and he conquered death. And he actually rose from the dead and flew to heaven on his wings. And my mother told me that those who are believers in Christ will also fly to heaven. So whenever somebody died in the village, I used to go there after two or three days and find out, has this man woken up and gone to heaven on his wings? I never saw anything like that. But here in this song, we find song telling us, When the trumpet of the Lord shall sound,